hello students welcome to my youtube channel engineering education if you like my videos please subscribe and share my channel we are starting solution of popran related problems uh, in which we will use applied thermodynamics for engineering technologists fifth edition uh, written by td stop and mikonki our first problem solution starts from positive displacement machines in this video solution of the problem 12.1 uh, is presented the statement of the problem 12.1 is air is to be compressed in a single stage reciprocating compressor from 1.013 bar and 15 degree C to 7 bar calculate the indicated power required for a free air delivery of 0.3 cubic meter per minute when the compression process is as follows isentropic reversible isothermal polytropic with n is equal to 1.25 what will be the delivery temperature in each case so in this problem uh, we have given some data the given data is first the working fluid is air second this is single stage reciprocating compressor single stage reciprocating compressor also we have initial pressure that is p1 and it is equal to 1.013 bar we have initial temperature that is t1 and it is equal to 15 degree centigrade or it is equal to 288 kelvin also we have delivery pressure that is p2 and it is equal to 7 bar we also have free air delivery fad denoted by v dot and it is equal to 0 0.3 cubic meter per minute also some information for example gamma is assumed as 1.4 in this problem what things are required in the problem we are going to highlight those terms we have to find indicated power second we have to find the delivery temperature for each compression process that is isentropic reversible isothermal and polytropic for these thermodynamic processes we have to find the indicated power and delivery temperature so looking to uh, first of all i am going to uh, discuss the pv diagram before solution that is over here 
this is the PV diagram for isothermal process. This is for polytropic process, and this is for adiabatic process or isentropic process. So, using this diagram, we have different types of expression in each case. So, the expression for indicated power in isentropic case that is equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1 P1 V dot into P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 this is the expression for indicated power in case of isentropic compression so we have gamma equal to 1.4 so putting the values p1 is 1.0 one three bar converting into Pascal V dot is zero point three cubic meter per minute also P two is seven and P one is one point zero one three again we have gamma is equal to one point four So, by simplifying this, we get indicated power in case of isentropic compression that comes equal to 1.31 kilowatt. Similarly, to find the delivery temperature in isentropic process, the expression is T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Again, here we have T1, P2 and P1 also gamma. We know about these values. So, putting the values, so we get by simplifying this, we get 227.3 degrees centigrade. So, the delivery temperature in case of isentropic compression that is 227.3 degree centigrade. Similarly, For iso reversible isothermal process, reversible isothermal process, we have the expression for indicated power that is equal to P one V dot natural log of P2 by P1. So, putting the values in this expression 1.013 10 raised to power 5 natural log of 
सेवन बाय वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री सो बाय सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस वी गेट द इंडिकेटेड पावर इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एट किलो वाट also this process is reversible isothermal so in isothermal process before and after process temperature is same so t2 is equal to t1 and t1 is equal to 15 degree centigrade third we have to find the indicated power and delivery temperature for polytropic process so for that we have the expression for indicated power that is equal to n by n minus 1 p1 v dot into p2 by p1 power n minus 1 by n minus 1 this is the expression so putting the values n is given over here that is 1.25 n is the basically the polytropic index 1.25 1.25 minus 1 Into one point zero one three into ten to the power five into zero point three seven by one point zero one three power one point two five minus one over one point two five minus one. So by simplifying these values. we get the indicated power equal to 1.2 kilowatt also for finding the delivery temperature t2 we have a relationship between the temperature ratios and pressure ratios like this n Minus one by n. So, to find T two, we have to multiply T one with P two by P one power n minus one by n. So, putting the values, we have T one fifteen degree C. That is twelve two double eight K one. P two is seven. P one is one point zero one three. n is 1.25 so by simplifying these values we have t2 equal to 150.9 degree centigrade so this is the required solution we have found the values of indicated powers and delivery temperatures in each case while the compression is isentropic reversible isothermal and fully tropic so coming over here let compare these powers from the diagram and the pv diagram pv is equal to constant isothermal power will be less polytropic power will be more than the isothermal power while the isentropic in case of isentropic process the indicated power will be largest so over here we have 
for isentropic process, I, the indicated power is 1.31 kilowatt, while for isothermal process, we have 0.98, which is less than that. Also, for polytropic process, this is only 1.2 kilowatt. So, it is over here proved that for isentropic compression, the indicated power is less. For more problem solution of power plant, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.